Let's look at some of the steps for insulin usage. First of all, storage. Insulin is stored in the refrigerator. Take it out of the fridge and leave it at room temperature for 10 minutes. Familiarize yourself with the parts of your insulin pen device. The insulin pen device has a dial at the back which can dial all the way up to 80 units. Every unit is heard as a click. The top of the insulin pen device conceals a glass container with a cap. The insulin lies in the glass container and there's a rubber ball on the top. There's a piston in the glass container that tells you how much insulin is left. How to attach the needle. The needle is a triangular shaped device as seen here. There's a plastic coating at the back which you can remove to see the internal bit of the needle that fits on the rubber ball on top of the pen device like a screw. Once you have screwed the needle on the top of insulin pen device, you can remove the top cap which is used later on to remove the needle. There's an internal sheath that protects the needle and the needle is almost 4 mm in size. You make sure you do a test dose which is an air shot to see whether an insulin drop comes out. If the insulin drop is coming, the pen device is working fine and the next step is to dial the correct dose, ensure the dose is correctly dialed and go perpendicularly at the site of insulin injection. Press at the back of the dial and the dial will reverse back to the point zero, suggesting that the insulin dose has gone in. Wait for five to 10 seconds before removal of the pen device. Removal of the needle requires the bigger cap that we initially used and you simply put it back where the insulin needle is. Be careful not to prick your finger and unscrew the top bit by removing the needle with the big cap. Once it has been removed, you can place the cap on top of insulin again and store it back in the refrigerator for the next dose. Ensure you use a new needle every time. Thank you.